Okay, this is a short screencast in how to place markers into an audio file, a pre-existing audio file, which will then allow you to split the audio file into individual audio files that you can use. For example, you've recorded a lecture or a podcast uh, which has a number of sections in it and you might want to actually break these up to either give to students or actually allow you to then take say sections one and three and merge them with content from another podcast that you've given where the content may be relevant. Following this method of splitting the file and creating the markers where it will auto and spitting them out to auto saves will allow you to do this easily and efficiently. Uh, we're going to be doing this in Adobe Audition. Uh, you may have used this to record your audio recordings and your podcasts as well. Uh, and you'll be familiar with the interface. Although we're doing this on our Apple Macintosh for this demonstration, actually, it's, once you're in Audition, it is pretty much identical to the Windows version, uh, apart from maybe the key press, uh, which I will give you both the Windows and the Macintosh option. Um, but apart from that, it's just visual differences. So the first thing we need to do is to launch Audition. It's the icon that I'll be in on an NTU PC. We'll be in, we'll be in the Start Programs uh, Adobe CS6 Master Collection, and it's the Adobe Audition's AU icon. So we launch Audition. This brings Audition up on your screen. We then need to open the specified audio file that we want to edit. So we would file, open. Uh, if we name the name of it, we can search it. So I'll search the file I'm going to use here. There we go. So we open the MP3 file, it will load into Audition and we can see the waveform which shows us how the file actually plays out. Um, obviously if you recorded a lecture you may have left key points of silence which will give you the flat portion along the actual monitor which will make splitting the file much easier. Uh, but for this in instance, I'm going to pick points at random. Uh, the other thing to do is a bit of pre-preparation and then know the points and the timings where you want to actually split your lecture, your podcast or your lecture, and you can easily do it uh, just by using the timeline across the top. So the first thing we'll, get, we'll need to do is we're going to the window option across the top bar, and we make sure that there's a tick under the markers section. So we're just taking it off there, so we're going to put it back on. You'll notice here we get a box appear on the left hand side. It's called markers. This will be where when we place the markers into the audio file that they actually appear and then we'll be able to save them. So we look across our audio file and if we know the points where we want to actually place our markers, the first thing we would do, and it's as easy as clicking with your left mouse button actually on the graph and dragging to select a portion. So I'm going to imagine now that the first portion I want to split out is the first two minutes and it's either to press F8 or M on the Macintosh and you'll see here that that places a marker, marker 01 at that point. You'll also see in your markers browser on the left hand side it places that marker, that section there. Then we'll imagine that I actually want to take section, the section from 2 minutes 40 up to 4 minutes. And again, it's either F8 or M on the Macintosh. That places another marker, as you can see here, marker 02. And that appears in our browser for the markers. We then have a shorter section here where I want 4 minutes 20 five minutes, a little short information piece, again press M, and finally the final piece, I decide that I want a section from literally where that's finished, so just after up to 6 minutes 20, and again we press M. Now once we've done these we can actually stretch these points out as well, uh, 
So if we decide we've not selected enough, we literally go to the left or the right hand side of the selected marker. So it's easy to you select your marker in here. So we're going to so we've got mark four, and we decide actually we want a little bit more on that one. And we just drag that marker out, and you notice it takes a little bit more of the time off. We could equally go into marker one by double clicking on it in the browser section here. We could make that say a little bit shorter. And we might decide that actually we need another one, say in here as well, another short piece we've missed. So we select that area and we press M, which will create us another mark and it actually keeps them in order through the piece. Even though that's mark five, what it does, it keeps them in sequential order. Now these files, these mark files here, we can we can actually rename them so they make sense to us. So literally a case of clicking it so it goes blue. So the text is selected and we'll call this piece intro. And we'll call this piece um, use photographic terms here composition and we'll call this piece exposure um, and the next section we'll call it histogram and the final section we can rename that one and we'll call it vision um, you can the titles here completely arbitrary you can name them to actually represent represent the sections within your podcast that you've actually set along these markers. Now the simple process now is where we actually use these markers and auto spit them out to individual files. It's where it becomes quite easy really. So we select the first one, the first of the markers in the browser window here, hold the shift key down, select the last one, so they're now all selected. I mean you could you don't have to do it for all you could press your control button and actually select individual ones but we're going to select them all and what we do now is we move the mouse to this little option here it looks like a disk it says export audio of selected range markers to separate files we click that I'm going to use marker name keep a tick in here use marker names in the file name so it's going to call the file names exactly what we've put here so that makes sense to us you can you can put prefixes in as well. You can choose where you want it to save them to. So I'm going to make it save them to the same place where I pulled the file format from. You can choose your output file format. So I'm going to maintain it in MP3. You can actually choose your sample rate of your audio file as well. And your settings, and they're easy to change. I'm going to leave them as they are at the moment 192 kilobits per second. Constant bit rate is give or take CD quality um, and 44,100 Hz stereo is the standard for a good quality audio file. Um, you can make it smaller depending on the type of device that the user is listening to, on, but invariably you don't need to change anything. So, simple thing we do now is click export and the program will tell us it's exporting the markers. And once that finishes, the little dialog box will disappear and those markers will now be exported to the location where we chose. So we can easily minimize audition now, just to prove this. And we can go into our downloads folder because this is where I sent the file. And initially we had the one that the file that was just called Joe Cornish Christmas guest questions Christmas questions from a from a, a photographic lecture and you'll notice now that the ones I selected composition exposure histogram introduction vision have all been spat out as individual files from that main lecture file and we could easily select one of those just to play it and to check it. So, double click the file. For my 50th birthday, 
and that was uh, I got caught in a blizzard fairly high up on the mountain um, and the forecast was mixed but I hadn't expected this to be anything like as vicious or as yeah. uh, spectacular, spectacular as it was, was. Uh, it, it, it basically, basically said, said sunshine, sunshine and showers, showers. Well, of course, sunshine, sunshine and showers, and showers. Down, down at sea level, level with sunshine, sunshine and showers. showers there we go so that's spat out that individual file for us um, again if you want you could check all the files if you wanted to so so an interesting shape mountain in the southern islands, islands. Uh, uh, and, and then, then to walk, walk past, past that, that and, then and then to climb onto the slopes of Benny and the next one the one I'll just look down, down here, here for a for while, while and let it blow over, over. But it's, but it's funny, funny how, how that, that, uh, that there we go, that's a simple just creating an export file. You don't know how long it lasts. No, we, we don't. don't. Uh, 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 I mean, I, 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 using Adobe Audition, using a simple single MP3 file, setting markers at points that you choose, and then outputting it as individual files.